Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome back to EP Science Virtual Class. I hope all of you are having an amazing day. This is Genrox Education TV, your host for today. For today's video, you will learn about circulatory system. Also, you will learn about the importance of the human heart and what is the main job of the human heart for the entire body. In some part of this video, you are going to learn and answer some basic questions. Now, let us continue about the four basic characteristics of circulatory system. So, we have number two, pumping device. Alright, so do you know what particular organs in our body which is considered as pumping device? What do you think? Okay, that is what we call human heart, our heart, right? So, what do you think? What is in your own idea when we talk about heart? That is what for? What are the major functions of a human heart? So, what happens during our heart pumps? Okay? Remember, blood is moved through the body by muscular contractions of the heart. Now, let us remember that our circulatory system are made up of blood, blood vessels, and the heart. Now, what are the functions or the job of our blood vessels? These are classified into three types. These are arteries, veins, and the capillaries. Now, what are the function of those? Arteries are the blood vessels which carry blood away from the heart. I'll repeat, arteries are the blood vessels which carry blood away from the heart. An artery branches to form smaller blood vessels that is what we call arterioles. Arterioles. The arterioles branch again and finally their branches become very tiny blood vessels that is what we call capillaries. Capillaries. And what about the job of a veins? Veins are the blood vessels which carry blood back to the heart. Before the capillaries leave an organ or tissue, they unite to form larger blood vessels called venules. Venules. When venules in turn join to form larger veins. So that is the work or main job of our veins in the blood vessels. What is heart for? Right? So why is it important organ in our body? Okay, remember. Heart is a vital organ which lies in the chest okay so left portion of your chest so the size it's like your fist okay so that is what we call the shape of your heart and that it works like pumping that creates the pressure to drive the flow of our blood to all parts of the body the exchange of substances takes place and blood flows back to your heart okay so that is the main job of a human heart and of course during the breathing activity there is what we call a gas exchange between oxygen going in to our respiratory organs right so that's the time that our hearts responded so our hearts pumps the blood at the same time because of the exchange of the oxygen or the oxygenated blood that might distributed throughout the body all right for this part i'm going to show you a video clip all right that represents about a human heart and what are the important parts of those and what are their jobs or functions 
So, are you ready? Please watch this. Your heart is a pump. It's a muscular organ about the size of your fist and is located slightly left of center in your chest. Your heart is divided into the right and left side. The division protects oxygen-rich blood from mixing with oxygen-poor blood. Together, your heart and blood vessels comprise your cardiovascular system, which circulates blood and oxygen around your body. In fact, your heart pumps about five quarts of blood every minute, and it beats about 100,000 times in one day. That's about 35 million times in a year. Oxygen-poor blood, blue blood, returns to the heart after circulating through your body. The right side of the heart, composed of the right atrium and ventricle, collects and pumps the blood to the lungs through the pulmonary arteries. The lungs refresh the blood with a new supply of oxygen, making it turn red. Oxygen-rich blood, red blood, then enters the left side of the heart, composed of the left atrium and ventricle, and is pumped through the aorta to the body to supply tissues with oxygen. Four valves within your heart keep your blood moving the right way. The tricuspid, mitral, pulmonary, and aortic valves work like gates on a fence. They open only one way and only when pushed on. Each valve opens and closes once per heartbeat, or about once every second. A beating heart contracts and relaxes. Contraction is called systole, and relaxing is called diastole. During systole, your ventricles contract, forcing blood into the vessels going to your lungs and body, much like ketchup being forced out of a squeeze bottle. The right ventricle contracts a little bit before the left ventricle does. Your ventricles then relax during diastole and are filled with blood coming from the upper chambers, the left and right atria. Then the cycle starts over again. Your heart is nourished by blood too. Blood vessels called coronary arteries extend over the surface of your heart and branch into smaller capillaries. Here you can see just the network of blood vessels that feed your heart with oxygen-rich blood. Your heart also has electrical wiring which keeps it beating. Electrical impulses begin high in the right atrium and travel through specialized pathways to the ventricles, delivering the signal to pump. The conduction system keeps your heart beating in a coordinated and normal rhythm, which in turn keeps blood circulating. The continuous exchange of oxygen-rich blood with oxygen-poor blood is what keeps you alive. Now, let's make it clear. What happens during blood circulation through the heart? The oxygen-poor blood from various parts of the body returns to the right atrium by two large veins. When the right atrium contracts and a heart bulb opens, blood flows into the right ventricles. When the right ventricle contracts, blood leaves the right ventricle through an artery to the lungs where the gas exchange takes place. The oxygen-poor blood becomes the oxygen-rich blood or oxygenated blood and is brought back to the left atrium by two veins. When two left atrium contracts and causes a heart valve to open, the blood enters to the left ventricle. When the left ventricle contracts, blood leaves through a large artery and distributes to all parts of the body. The blood then becomes oxygen-poor blood or deoxygenated blood and returns to the heart again and the circulation repeats on and on. Now, let us remember that the human heart is a muscular organ with walls that is made of cardiac muscles. So what do you call that wall? It is a cardiac muscles. So the coronary artery supplies nutrients and oxygen to the muscles while the coronary veins remove waste from the muscles. So try to look at the difference between the coronary arteries and the job of the coronary veins. 
blood pressure varies from person to person, depending on age, sex, body, size, mental condition, activity, and exercise. There were times that there is what we call high blood pressure. It may occur in elderly people suffering from atherosclerosis or narrowing of the arteries, irritable person, stressful person, and person with high cholesterol. How are we going to measure the pulse rate? Pulse refers to the beating of the blood vessels, especially the arteries. Due to the contraction and relaxation of the walls of the arteries according to the action of the heart. Therefore, the pulse indicates the heart rate. The pulse can be measured by detecting the beating of the artery just below the skin, just as the arteries at the wrist, the neck, and the groin. The pulse in an average male is measured about 70 per minute and about 75 per minute in female. Now let's have an interactive question and answer portion. Alright, are you ready? Great. What is the main function of the left atrium? What is the main function of the right atrium? Which blood vessels carries blood away from the heart? Which blood vessel carries blood back to the heart? Do all arteries deliver oxygen-rich blood? Do all veins deliver oxygen-rich blood? How many valves are there in the heart? Which chambers of the heart has the thickest wall? Thank you for your answer. You did a great job. Congratulations! Remember that the human heart divided into four chambers. There is what we call the upper chambers and the lower chambers of the human heart. Alright? So the two upper chambers are called auricles or atrium. So basically we call it, okay, right and left atrium and the lower chambers we have what we call left ventricle and right ventricle remember in the human heart in the upper chambers left atrium and right atrium in the lower chambers we have left ventricle and right ventricle so what do you call of that center part the half okay in the left side and half of the right side so at the center part of that human heart that is what we call septum remember the word septum it divides the heart into the right and left halves of the human heart structure the right side of the heart pumps the oxygenated blood what is that? The oxygenated blood. So which side of your heart? It's right side. Alright? So it is used to receive from the tissues to the lungs. And that point, carbon dioxide is removed in the lungs. You got it? Now, the left side, how does it work? The left side of your heart our heart pumps okay oxygenated blood huh? it pumps an oxygenated blood it receives from the lungs to the rest of our body so therefore oxygen is removed in the tissues during what 
during respiration. Once the heart pumps an oxygenated blood that it receives from the lungs to the rest of our body. So what is it called, that element? That is what we call oxygen. Oxygen is one of the most useful during gas exchange in the process of respiration. So that is why oxygenated blood is very important in that particular process because it is expanded, okay, between the human heart and during the blood circulation and the distribution of blood and nutrients through all the parts of our body. Okay? Alright guys, this is the end of the part 1 video related to the topic of circulatory system. So, for this part, we talk about blood, blood cells, and human heart. So, those are basic characteristics on how circulatory system plays an important role in the process of circulation in our body. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you learned something from this. Don't forget to answer your quizzes and your assignment. Please go to the Google Classroom there in the AP website. Thank you so much and good luck! Alright guys, see you in the next video. Remember, stay home, stay safe, enjoy learning.